Hey folks, today I am taking a look at They Don't Make Them Like You Anymore by Rory Gallagher off the Tattooed Lady album. So this is a great track. I've been meaning to take a look at it for quite a while now. So one of you guys requested this, so yeah, I just took a look at it today. Some pretty cool things in this song. Nice chord progression. And um, kind of deceiving to the ears, but... So we're in the key of uh, D minor. And it starts off with that lick. The chords behind the lick, I'll start off with that for the intro, are uh, D minor, G minor, D minor, and then we're on A7, except we're doing the sus uh, 4, A7 sus 4. So that's your normal A7 chord. And then we're putting the baby finger on the 7th fret on the G to get the sus and then lift it off okay and we can also do that here the open position A7 just baby finger on the third fret of the B and then lift off okay so intro the chords are Okay, and so the lick then is uh, he does two parts, so he does a harmony. One is down here, so we're on the 15th fret on the D string. I started with my baby finger, then we go up to the G, 12, 14, and I think he's either doing or else. So either one of those two, whichever you think sounds better, you can use that. For now I'm just going to do the pull off, instead of the hammer on the pull off. Um, okay, so 15, 12, 14. Or, yeah, let's do the hammer on a pull off. So 15, 12, 14. Hit it again. Then hammer on and pull off. Back to the 15th fret on the D. And then 12, 14, 15 on the G. And then we do it again. Twelfth fret on the G. Fifteen on the D. Fourteen on the D. slide down I guess and then the last bit I'm oh, sorry So starting on the 17th fret on the G, 17, 15, 14, 15, 14, 17 on the D, back to 14 on the G, D string 17, 15, 14, And I think, yeah, <clears throat> if you do it with downstrokes, you can get a nice aggressive uh, attack and get some of those kind of pinches. Up 
to you. So all together. So then we've got basically the, the same kind of idea up here, up here for the harmony. So we're starting on the B string on the 15th fret, 12 on the E to the 13th. And then fourteenth fret uh, on the G at the end to end it. Okay, and then the end, seventeenth fret. Third finger on the on the E. Back to fifteen. Eighteenth fret on the B. Back to fifteen. Eighteen seventeen. Back to fifteen again. Oh sorry. Eighteen here. Seventeen. Fifteen. Fourteen. So those are the, the two licks at the start, and then for the chords, for the verse, I think it is something like starting with D minor, and either D, uh, G minor with D in the bass, up here, so that'd be 7th fret on the G, 6th fret on the B, 8th fret on the, um, the E. Oh, no, sorry, actually, pardon me. Seventh fret on the G, uh, pinky on the on the tenth fret of the B, and then sixth fret with your first ring on the E. Or maybe G minor down here, which has got uh, D in the bass as well, that inversion. So it's like that G minor, except we're just playing from the A chord down. to D minor again, and then A7. Something like that for the verse chords, okay? And then so we have B flat, A7, Stabs on the A7. Okay, and then the the other stabs after that. D minor, G minor, D minor again, and then like the intro. Uh, A7 sus4. So the A7. So. Then the next section, we have G minor, A minor, F, 
A7 sus4, A7. So, he does a little arpeggiation of the chords during that part as well on the record I could hear. So something like just that inversion there, uh, bar on the third fret over the G, B, and E, and then fifth fret on the D. Something like just arpeggiating down from the E string. Then move the shape up to A minor. Move it down to your your uh, bar chord F shape down here. And then to the A7 sus4, starting on the B string. So all together it'll be like. the solos. I haven't transcribed the solos. If someone's really looking for the, the transcription of the solo then I'll do it but generally I'm not transcribing a lot of the solos because it's <clears throat> that's a lot of work um, and they're all kind of improvised anyway so I, I you know unless you really like the solo just take a few things from it I, I would recommend. Um, and that's about it for for that song. Really cool song. Um, I'm glad I looked at it finally. And to the person who requested this, I hope that helps. I hope it sounds accurate to you. Okay, enjoy guys. We'll catch you again soon.